So we've seen already before this module, turning alkyl halides to alkenes and alkenes to alkyl halides. In this module, we saw how you turn alkyl halides to alcohols. We've seen how you turn alkenes to alcohols. We've seen how you turn alcohols to alkenes. So for the sixth possibility, if you're keeping track, is we now need to turn alcohols into alkyl halides. Halogenation of alcohols, this is a substitution reaction. Easiest way to do it, take your alcohol, react it up with HX with the hydrogen halide and you just substitute the X for the OH. Um, as you might expect, HI reacts better than HBR, reacts better than HCl, which reacts better than HF. But of course, we've already seen I does everything better. And tertiary alcohols react better than secondary alcohols, which react better than primary alcohols. And we'll see the reason for that when we look at the mechanism in the next slide. Now, it is worth pointing out these used to be on the A-level um, syllabus. They might still be on one of the boards, but there are alternative ones that you can use, especially to make primary <coughs> primary halides. OK, because this uh, simple hydrohalogenation of the alcohols is fraught with possible issues, primary and secondary ones. So if you would like to make an alkyl chloride, you can use this SO2Cl thionyl chloride. If you wish to make an alkyl bromide or an alkyl uh, chloride, and these work again really well for primary and secondary halides, then you can just use PX3, so either phosphorus tribromide or phosphorus trichloride, depending upon which you want. Those are not on the A-level, but I thought it would be remiss not to mention those right now. Want tertiary? Go ahead and just use the HX reaction. Primary, don't use the HX, use one of these other options. And secondary, depends upon the particular alcohol. I'm going to look further at this A-level one. So looking a little bit further at the reaction effectively of HX. First of all, let's think about chloroalkanes. You typically don't just throw it in with HCl. You put it in with anhydrous zinc chloride to activate the HCl a little bit and then heat it up with the HCl and the heat. So here is an alcohol and I'm going to use a tertiary alcohol. <clears throat> Makes that tertiary halide. The way it works is, as you have seen already, the H plus will come in and protonate the terrible leaving group OH to make it a much better leaving group water. And then at this point, we can react up the Cl minus to substitute in. Again, this can go via an SN2 substitution, as we saw for the alkyl halides, in which the chloride comes in with backside attack and the water leaves, or it can go through the carbocation um, reaction that we saw, or the carbocation intermediate, excuse me, that we saw with the dehydration. I'm not going to go into detail of those, but you can imagine both of those happen. Carbocation mechanism, even though it's two-step, is actually faster than the SN2 reaction, so that's why this works particularly well for the tertiary alkyl halides. Now it is worth just um, emphasizing the fact that water is a super leaving group and hydroxide is a terrible leaving group. And if we compare it to the leaving group qualities we've already seen, we know that iodide is better than bromide, bromide is better than chloride, but are all pretty good leaving groups. Water kind of falls in between bromide and chloride, but all of these much, 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 much better leaving groups than hydroxides. So substitution reactions associated with just reacting up alcohols with HX, in this case HCl. First thing you're going to do is you're going to protonate the alcohol so that now you've turned a bad leaving group into a good leaving group. How that leaving group leaves depends on whether you have a primary, secondary or tertiary alcohol. If it's a tertiary alcohol, then you will lose the water to make the carbocation and then add in the chloride. Conversely, if it is a primary alkyl halide, this will go via an SN2 mechanism so that the chloride comes in backside attacking, the water leaving in a concerted one-step process. We wanted to make bromoalkanes. Again, you don't stew it up with just HBr. You actually make the HBr in situ. You just take potassium bromide, react it up with sulfuric acid 
to generate the HBr. Halogenation of alcohols that last in that little six step triangle whereby you take alkyl halides, alcohols and alkenes and you can make one from the other. Of course you might ask yourself well why do I need to do that? Well because there are times when it's much easier to work with an alcohol to make an alkene than it is to work with a particular alkyl halide to make an alkene or maybe the other way around and so on. So the circumstances of what you want will determine which particular process you follow. But alcohols, alkenes, alkyl halides all interrelated.